Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson. And in this video, we are going to review the tarot readings that have already been done for the Idaho 4 case. And we're going to review that in light of the information we learned in yesterday's police press conference. So stay tuned. The news just came out yesterday that Brian Koberger, I believe is his name, was arrested for the crime of the four students in Idaho that were murdered in the middle of the night. So the police came out with the press conference and they really weren't able to answer many questions during that press conference, but they explained that multiple times. I recognize the frustration with the lack of information that's been released. However, providing any details in this criminal investigation might have tainted the upcoming criminal prosecution or alerted the suspect of our progress. We will continue to provide as much information as we can as the process moves forward. And let me preface, there is a pending case now in court and I and my office and the investigators have to live with the restrictions that our Supreme Court places on pretrial publicity. That said, I promise you we will share with you through the court process or otherwise whatever we are allowed to. I just appreciate your patience on that. As Bill shared, this investigation is far from over. In fact, I appreciate what he shared, that this is not an ending, but rather a new beginning. The difference now is, as he shared, that we are dictated what information we can share by the court process and by laws in our state of Idaho. And so we will share, as he shared, um, Mr. Thompson uh, is absolutely committed to share everything he can share through the court process. And based on what Kaylee Gonzalez had told us, even in the very first tarot reading that I did about this case, she said to be patient. And we even got the void card and faith card next to each other, basically asking us to have patience through these times where we're not getting any information and we can't get any information, but we must have faith in the process. Void and faith were flipped over in the deck. I feel like with these two together, it's like you really, the patience comes during the time of the void. We just have to have faith that the answers are coming. Now, along with that idea of having patience, not only because there, you know, there's going to be this time of a void where we're not getting any new information. We also got messages about having patience because it is only a matter of time before this case was, you know, going to reach the court or reach that point of justice. It's only a matter of time before this reaches um, the point of justice. Things are starting to come to light, you guys. Um, remember how we kept getting the cards about patience? It, I think at this point, it really is going to be all about patience because with, you know, data, like data, data, however you say it. Um, but with all of that, there's just so much information out there to actually comb through that it's just going to take a long time and you have to be ready for that. Yeah. Hamster wheel, survive the daily hustle. So it's going to be like this grind that the investigators are doing right now, literally combing through Oh my God, who even knows how much, right? We've received over 19,000 tips and we've conducted over 300 interviews. Another thing that was 
somewhat answered in the tarot reading as well was that this suspect did not live in Idaho. This suspect had actually relocated to Pennsylvania where they live. So it's almost like he lived in an area close to the Idaho Four, but he also lived in Pennsylvania. And if you remember, we got the relocate card. And I also referred to the sign of cancer being one of the more abandoned feeling signs. Now, if you know anything about the Zodiac and those shadow aspects of the Zodiac, then you would know that the Cancer feels abandoned because they are the ones doing the abandoning. So therefore, that just, that was saying to us that this killer had abandoned the area and relocated. And then over here, we have sold, moving, physical, location change. So maybe this has to do with something to do with living situations, right? This could have to do with the living situation. This have, could have to do with that feeling of being abandoned that I was talking about. Kohlberger resides in Pullman, Washington, and is a graduate student at Washington State University. Can you talk a little bit more about the suspect's connection to Pennsylvania? All I know is, is that uh, he lives in, in Pennsylvania. And in the Idaho 4 tarot reading, we we're given the car as a trigger word, um, the card with the white car on it, if you remember. And finally, we got the last card here. It says triggers, name, car, place. And I find it interesting that in the picture, it's a white car. Because um, I did notice that the news, it is a trigger word right now. The car and the place where the car was is near the place of the crime. And we learned in the press conference that the police stated that they have found the Elantra. Hey Chief, um, have you guys found the murder weapon or the uh, Hyundai Elantra? So we are still looking for um, all pieces of evidence, um, but we are still looking for the, the weapon. Um, and I will say that uh, we have found an Elantra. You've got Tom and Bob from Nonstop Local KHQ in Spokane. Uh, more about the Elantra. We saw reports that you, you mentioned that you recovered an Elantra, but can you specify where that was found? And uh, we know that that was one of the biggest pieces of information you're asking from the public to tip. Um, were you able to provide a, an information on whether those tips led to this uh, seizure of an Elantra? That's still part of the um, investigation that will come out um, in the future. Um, can you tell us if you eventually had a license plate number to the Elantra? and how you tracked it to Pullman. That's still part of the investigation that will come out. And those are pretty much all of the things that really stood out to me that were confirmed through the press conference that the police um, gave just yesterday. So if you guys caught anything else that maybe I've missed, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. Just remember that we have to be patient while we're just kind of waiting for everything to happen. They made it very clear that they're not giving any more information up until this suspect is in court in Idaho. So like Kaylee was telling us in the beginning, we must just be patient and it's only a matter of time before this case reaches the point of justice. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share this video with all your friends out there. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, you can click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can turn on that notification bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.